Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Or happy Turkey Day. Because Thanksgiving, I don't know, that's a, a taboo holiday here right now in the States. Especially what's going on with the pipeline. But uh, yeah, just want to send some love out there to uh, the protectors. And uh, we're going to check out the weekend's newest music video or music videos, Mania. So we have like a science fiction like set with white lights and we got that uh what is it the black panther or puma that he had in the uh starboy video very dramatic So this must be some kind of sequel to the Starboy video. So I guess we find out where they were driving to towards the end of the video. I don't know. It's like it's part music video, part film. And if that's what this is meant to be, don't laugh at me. I didn't know. <laughs> like it almost, it almost comes off like a musical. Like an urban musical. This is, everything's still practically in slow motion. Everything's really, uh, this is more dramatic than his uh, last two videos. It kind of reminds me more of the kinds of videos he released on his last album. See, I'm a serious reactor here. I have not heard these songs before. At all. This is the first time I'm hearing it. And I like it. I mean, if he's going to invest in another music video, put a, put a, a smooth song in the beginning and then turn up the beat, the same, same thing. It's just a, a better business decision. He could have had two different videos if he wanted to, you know. Just combine them. Oh yeah, that was a, that's like an old 80s song. Talking in your sleep. He's just singing it in a different melody. That's pretty cool. This is like his third song, I think. I don't know. You know, this this section right here kind of reminds me of, um, this is like a throwback video, right? Uh, check out Lauren Hill's, uh, X Factor. That's kind of how this looks. It's like slow motion, 
you know, sensuality, the blue lighting. Like, the way that just looked, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't wind up being, like, a trend for 2017. Blue light. I don't know. But, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised. So what exactly did he do? I, <laughs> I, I want to understand how exactly they killed the guy. I, I'm a little baffled. So is, was it a metaphorical killing? Because it looked like he could have had a wound to the heart or to the throat. I'm not really sure. But there's just blood everywhere. Like he exploded. It doesn't really look like a a cat did anything to that man in the bathroom. So now instead of the blue light, we got red light. Uh huh. Like, to me, I just think overall what I'm watching is a little too slow paced for my taste, honestly. Like, it's like I just want something different to happen. Like, I was. I thought a second ago when they killed the guy in the bathroom that it was gonna go down this road, right? But it certainly didn't. It just kind of fell back on what was kind of getting to me before they'd gone to the restroom. It's just slow. Even right now, even though the beat is up. It's still happening slowly. Got a nice slow pushing shot again. Slow. She must be a fashion model. She makes me want to buy clothing and lots of fake blood and shit.
I like the weekend's music. Uh, I like him as an artist, and I liked that I got to hear more of his music for the first time with you guys. That's pretty cool. So, you know, that made me happy to hear the music, the musical components of this. However, this entire thing could have been fucking five minutes or less. It just wasn't necessary for it to have been as slow as it was. It was slow from the beginning, and there would be times where I think that the pace would be picked up and the pace would not get picked up. And some of the stuff just isn't interesting enough visually to kind of hold my attention, you know, in slow motion. You know, I would say 80% of what I saw was slow motion footage. I liked the stuff that was in the bathroom, although it was kind of unclear how they killed the guy in there like just because you hear the, the sound of the wildcat for puma back black panther whatever i mean just because like you hear its roar doesn't actually explain how even it would have caused those wounds in the bathroom and it's impossible to gloss over because everything's so fucking slow and dramatic that you can't not notice every little thing uh this just it did not need to be 12 minutes and the credits they the credits rolled slow like it was a fucking feature film like it was two hours long or something i gave his last video a 10 false alarm i felt like false alarm was awesome it had the um hardcore henry kind of thing going on and i loved it but with all the money it's still in terms of taste level is just kind of too pretentious and doesn't have enough meat to back it up i will give this a six it's not any better than that i'm not saying it's underproduced it's just too long it's unnecessary it's not in it's not that interesting and this could have easily just been a music video for one of the songs i don't think that this is we're gonna compare this for those in america okay to something like beyonce's lemonade how there's like a track in a visual style and mood for every song that's presented or let's shit if, you, if you're, you're one of my k-pop viewers you know what i mean you, you see what bts has done this is nowhere near in quality any of those things so yeah i'm gonna maintain that it's a six i hope his fans you know uh, don't take it too much to heart I, I mean i hope they enjoyed it more than me you know they should tell me what you feel though in the comment section below also, please like and share this clip and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Bubble Contagion, the realest, most fucking awesome music video based reaction channel on YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving.